Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining channel. In today's video, we're going to have a second look or a revised look of my AMD GPU specifically on Flux. So since my previous videos on the individual AMD cards, when I got them, things has changed slightly. There has been new minor releases and the efficiency number specifically has changed on Flux for AMD GPUs. And that's what we're going to dive in today. If you like the GPU content, please like the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It will help me out a great deal. But enough shilling my channel, let's jump into the content. Now, the obvious question that you're probably asking sitting there is what the hell am I doing? Why am I taking these AMD GPUs, which is absolutely fantastic on something like Ethereum, from a efficiency standpoint, from a mega hash standpoint, to put them on something like Flux? Uh, where they, let's be honest, they've sucked on Flux, right? So from a efficiency standpoint, they're just nowhere near NVIDIA, right? So NVIDIA has been Flux's, um, you know, card of choice. It's just, they just perform better there. They just got more compute. So AMD historically has not been great on Flux. And something like this probably needs to mine Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, or maybe Ravencoin um, and Ergo. They're obviously not that bad on Ergo, but it's definitely not... Um, you know, something that you would do with an AMD card on Flux. But there has been changes, right? So uh, what has happened recently, it actually started in May, but most recently, I think it's the 8th of June, Mini Z has started supporting AMD GPU. So if you're unfamiliar, Mini Z is the miner if you want to mine Flux, specifically on your NVIDIA GPUs, but they now support AMD GPUs. And that's specifically what we're going to have a look at today is how do my AMD GPUs perform on Flux using the new Mini Z? Now, the other thing that sparked my curiosity was, um, you know, during this week, I was in the Flux mining discord and one of the guys that normally helps out most of the people with their overclocks were claiming that, you know, he bought a brand new 6900 XT Sapphire Nitro Special Edition and it's getting close to or even beating the 2080 Ti efficiency numbers on Flux. And I thought, no, wait a second, I need to have a look at this because, you know, if these AMD GPUs can actually get close to NVIDIA, um, you know, and I don't think they will beat, um, you know, NVIDIA, at, le at least that's my going in position even before I'm starting to test this. Um, you know, if they can even get close, then at least it's an option. We all know Ethereum now is set to allegedly move away from proof of work to proof of stake. I think it's the 18th or the 19th, um, you know, of September. And again, that's a soft date. But to me, the fact that they actually put their necks out and put a date in, uh, you know, it's more likely to happen this year than not. Or at least that's how I look at it, right? Um, so, you know, if there is more options for me to mine after Ethereum, uh, you know, that's a good thing, right? And the sooner I can figure out my overclocks on something like Mini Z, the better. So, you know, when proof of stake uh, happens for Ethereum, at least I've got my overclock set. I know which miner am I going to use. Um, you know, so that's really why I'm doing this type of video, right? It's getting ready for moving away from Ethereum, making sure I know exactly what miner to use on what GPUs um, and what my overclocks are going to be, right? So in this video specifically, I'm going to have a look at all of my AMD GPUs using the new Mini Z to see if I can even get close to my NVIDIA efficiencies here on the left hand side. Now, with all of that disclaimers out of the way, let me show you what we're going to work with today. Okay, so I've got the Octominer open and this is what we have to work with. So I've got the 6700 XT here on the left. Next to it, this is a 6800 XT reference card. Then we've got another XFX 6700 XT. Next to that is a 6800. So without the XT, then there's my A4000. So I'm gonna take this out because that's some of the issues that I've had in the past testing Mini Z, specifically on AMD, is it doesn't like a mixed rig. So I'm gonna take this out and see what it does. Then next to it here, I've got another Power Color 6800 XT. So it's not a Red Devil. I think this one is a Red Dragon. And then this bad boy here is a 6800 XT Red Devil. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna 
put the 6800 XT back in so um, you know I only had it out for the video um, and then I'm gonna take this A4000 out and put it on my test bench just to make sure this is purely a AMD rig I don't have anything uh, interfering or crashing because that's what I've seen in the past when I've tried to play around with it is you know this A4000 card or any Nvidia card for that matter uh, crashes out this rig uh, specifically in Hive OS so I'm gonna have a look at that so let me do the changes three two one red panda style okay so i've made the changes and what we are going to have a look at is the efficiency on my flux and video rig and again if you haven't watched that video i'll leave a link in the video description and tag it at the top but it's just a short um you know talking about i've mined a thousand flux with this specific octominer or this specific nvidia rig but again inside this rig i've got two 2080 ti's and three 3070s and one 3060 Ti. And what I'm interested in is the efficiencies of my NVIDIA rig where it's good on flux versus now this AMD rig on the new Mini Z Miner, right? So I wanted to have a look and see, um, you know, what does it do from an efficiency standpoint. Now, enough talking, let me jump on HiveOS and actually show you guys what it looks like from an efficiency standpoint and what overclocks I'm actually using. Okay, so here we are on the computer and let's talk results. Now, I'll start off with the bad news and end hopefully on a high note. And starting off with the bad news is HiveOS. The short answer is just don't do it. So don't use Mini Z for AMD in HiveOS. It's just too much troubles. The issues that you will run into and let me ramble through them quickly is first of all, I can only get one GPU to work in a rig, no matter what I tried. So, um, you know, I can't get any more than one GPU to work. They sometimes start to work, but then slowly start throttling themselves down. Now, that is issue number one. The issue number two is your flight sheet. So, Mini Z currently inside HiveOS is marked as a uh, NVIDIA only uh, miner. So, what that means is if you've got an AMD only rig, that flight sheet will not come up in case you need to assign it so there is two ways around it and that's probably what you see here is you can either stick a nvidia gpu into that miner and then HiveOS will see it and then you can go ahead and assign it then what you can do in your flight sheet again is edit your arguments to only specify amd gpus again you can try a mixed rig but it then also crashes so i again uh, not really a solution to be honest but it's a way around that problem and I, again i just did this so that i can sort of test the efficiencies in case there is gains to be had there uh, again now i'm using i'm not using a a4000 gpu because in a mixed rig it crashes so again i wouldn't recommend that so that's the one issue you would run into another way around that is to create a flight sheet with um, like a dual mining so you would add another miner in here um, and select something that is mixed so that allows you to assign that flight sheet and then you can just disable that specific miner as soon as it starts up so those those are the two ways around that now the other thing when we talk about this is the actual support for gpus now you would notice that i had a 6700 xt that gpu is not supported so if i jump into the mini z actual release notes for that specific version that is available now or at least the latest one here now you can see the 6600 6800 6900 xt variants are supported now the 6700 xt which i have in this rig is not supported so for me it doesn't really necessarily make sense if you only have these gpus maybe it makes sense for you now the other thing is rdna one gpus like the 5700 and 5700 xts they are also not supported but um, i had a look at some of the comments and bugs and stuff that people have logged it looks like support for that is coming hopefully in the future and hopefully they can fix some of these other things that's not working now besides the issues that i ran into let's just talk performance so um, currently as you can see here i've got my 6800 working so this is sort of a apples with apples with a 3070 more or less on price um, looking at this you can see my core clock is set to 2200 so it's a little bit higher but i just wanted to see how hard can i push this but um you know it's getting about 53 souls um supposedly the sweet spot is 2050 and getting it to 130 to 140 
uh, watts. So apparently that's the place where you want to keep your 6800 XTs. But again, I can't get mine to actually work. Um, now, again, I can get one to work. Uh, but not all of them at the same time. Now, looking at the efficiency numbers, however, you can see here, um, you know, my 6800 gets about 0 0.4. So it's close to 0 0.4. Sometimes it touches it, sometimes it goes down. Um, and that, again, is on par with, let's say, my worst 3070. So there are or there is potential, um, you know, with Mini Z, with AMD cards. They just need to sort out some of these bugs and again i'm pretty sure they will be doing that because you know they are the best miners specifically for flux and hopefully now they've only started or recently started supporting amd gpu so hopefully there's a future of new releases to just make the functionality a little bit better but to get back to the point you know I wouldn't recommend, I mean, you can try and if you've tried and it's working for you and you figured something out, please leave a comment in the video or let me know how did you manage to figure that out. But at least for this specific version, which is version 1.8 Z3, I wouldn't be using HiveOS um, with my AMD GPU specifically on Mini Z to mine Flux. It's just not worth it for me. Okay, so now that we've got the bad news out of the way, let's end on a high note. And the high note being Windows. Now, let me open up the miner here. What you can see currently is getting about 65 souls, but generally speaking, it gets anything between 70 and 74. You can see my average is now 69. The reason why it's 65 is I'm actually recording and mining at the same time. So that sort of brings it down a little bit. So this is obviously my desktop um, CPU and GPU. Now, how am I achieving this or what is my overclocks here? I'm just using the normal AMD software. And for that, what I've done is, um, you know, put my frequency down to about 90%. It hovers around 2100 on the clock speed. The voltage is as low as I can get it. So unfortunately in Windows, without using something like more power tools, which you can, by the way, um, the minimum voltage that I can get is 881. So you would have seen in HiveOS, you can bring that down to about 640 or 650 and it will still work. It depends on your car though, but um, you know, for if you don't use it, this is as low as you normally can get it inside of Windows. And you can see here on my VRAM, um, I've got fast timings enabled and then I'm bringing the clock speeds as low as I can go. And then on average, it gets about 175 watts. I'm pretty sure that you know if i use a tool like more power tools i can get this down to 150 watts but this is more or less what i would get inside of windows now looking at that from a efficiency standpoint so i'm happy with the amount of souls that i'm getting um so that is now more, let's go with 72 divide that by 175 so it gets about 0 0.41 so that's very close to a 3070 efficiency wise so i think my worst 3070 gets 0 0.4 and the best one 0 0.42 so it's very much in line with the 3070 efficiencies and from a solutions perspective obviously a 6800 xt price wise i would imagine costs a little bit more than a 3070 or i would hope so but who knows where the prices drop but you know as i mentioned from a windows perspective it's actually quite okay to mine with Mini Z. There are still bugs, so the minor things that is an issue in Mini Z, and again, I'm just using a special argument here in my bat file, but um, you know, you can't see your power consumption, clock speeds and frequencies and efficiencies at this stage with Mini Z. So again, it's a bug that they know about. Um, I've logged it also. I saw some other people log it as well. So hopefully they fix that in a later version. So if you are mining on Windows, um, you know, Mini Z is potentially a option for you if you've got AMD GPUs and you want to mine Flux. It's not as bad as LOL Miner. So that used to be the competition or that's what I've used as well to mine Flux on AMD GPUs. And the efficiency there is about 0.3 um to 0.37 is the best that i can get that on lol miner so you know lol miner you can use also to mine flux on amd gpus but it's not as good as mini z and here you can see off the bat i'm getting way more with mini z so it's positive um you know i'm super happy that mini z is now supporting amd gpus and hopefully it can only get better this is also their first 
um, changes or now that they're supporting it. So hopefully this is just things that will improve in the future. That's it for this one, guys. If you've liked the video, please like it and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. If you didn't, please specify in the comments what you would like me to change. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah.